Does not wisdom call and understanding lift up her voice? On top of the heights beside the way where the paths meet, she takes her stand. Beside the gates, at the opening to the city, at the entrance of the door, she cries out. To you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. O naive ones, understand prudence, and O fools, understand wisdom. Listen, for I will speak noble things, and the opening of my lips will reveal right things. For my mouth will utter truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the utterances of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing crooked or perverted in them. They are all straightforward in him who understands and right to those who find knowledge. Take my instruction in that silver and knowledge rather than choices gold. For wisdom is better than jewels and all the desirable things cannot compare with her. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and I find knowledge and discretion. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogance, and the evil way and the perverted mouth I hate. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding, power is mine. By me, kings reign and rulers decree justice. By me, princes rule and nobles, all who judge rightly. I love those who love me, and those who diligently seek me will find me. Riches and honor are with me, enduring wealth and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, even pure gold, and my yield better than choice of silver. I walk in the way of righteousness, in the midst of the paths of justice, to endow those who love me with wealth, that I may fill their treasuries. The Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way, before his works of old. From everlasting I was established, from the beginning, from the earliest times of the earth. When there were no depths, I was brought forth when there was no springs abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills I was brought forth. While he had not yet made the earth and the fields, nor the first dust of the world, when he established the heavens, I was there. When he inscribed the circle on the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when the springs of the deep became fixed, when he set for the sea its boundary, so that the water would not transgress his command. When he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside him as a master workman, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him. Rejoicing in the world his earth, and having my delight in the sons of men. Now therefore, O sons, listen to me, for blessed are they who keep my ways. Heed instruction and be wise, and do not neglect it. Blessed is the man who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at my doorpost. For he who finds me finds life, and obtains favor from the Lord. But he who sins against me injures himself. All those who hate me love death. Thank you for watching this video. I pray that you were blessed by the reading of the scripture. I wanna encourage you that if you gathered with multiple people, that each one of you pick a verse from this chapter. Pick that verse that was highlighted to you, the one that stood out and discuss it. What is the Lord saying through this verse? How is it speaking to you? I also wanna encourage you that you can do this every month. Because there's 31 chapters in Proverbs, at the end of the month, you can start over. And every time you visit these chapters, I guarantee you, you'll find something new to talk about. It's life changing. We have done this as a family for about two years or so, and we've seen a change in our mindset, how we look at wisdom, how we look at foolishness, how we look at righteous living. It's a complete character change for sure. The whole point is to get it in you, not just to go through it as a, as a checklist, but get it in you and live it out. So again, I hope that you are blessed by these videos. Share this with your friends and your family. Let's get the word out there. Come on. Thank you again in Jesus' name.